I don't know what it is, but uh, blacks seem to hate people that look like me. A five-year-old was killed, and when I was his age, I looked a lot like him. And I want to show you something. <laughs> yeah, here's this. That's me walking. I don't know if they found him or not. I really don't even know if he, they did or not, but... Uh, now, the reason why they chose me to dramatize the killing of this guy is because he looked like me. <laughs> uh, same build. He was a white guy, walked through the wrong place. He was one of the first people that uh, was killed in the knockout game. And... Um, Just recently, uh, a black guy shot this uh, little five-year-old in the head, little five-year-old white boy, and that kid looked like me when I was that age. I don't think, I don't think blacks like me, <laughs> or like people that look like me, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't. One time I was sitting in the theater, I was about, well, my gosh, I was about, um, I was, uh, it looked like this. It looked like this. Yeah, it looked like that. Except I was a little older than that. And the black guy who sat down, my, I, I was up in, the, I was up on the, uh, in the balcony of the theater, looking down. I don't remember the name of the movie. All I can remember is him sitting by me and talking about how much he hated blonde-haired, blue-eyed kids and that he'd like to kill them and stuff like that. And I was kind of like up against the wall. I was about 11. I'm 9 in this picture here, but... Um, all I said is... I, I don't have... I don't have brown eyes. I'm not blonde. No, brown hair. And I managed to get up and walk away from him. But the hatred that he was exuding or, or, or producing toward me it was just amazing. I I felt sorry for him. I was I was not even a Christian at the time. I was a Mormon at the time. And I just saw a lot of hurt in him. And I felt bad for him. And I'm thinking that the knockout game on people that look like me and the killing that little boy who looked like me when I was that age. I mean, I'll show you. I'll show you that picture again here. Yeah. I want to tell you something, though. My dad gave me these goofy haircuts, like this one here. <laughs> he gave me that haircut to keep pedophiles away. You want to know something? It worked. It worked. It worked. Having that, having, having that kind of haircut. Having that kind of haircut definitely kept the pedophiles away from me. <laughs> but if I didn't have it, 
Who knows? Maybe I would have been shot too in the head like that kid. I don't know. I think a lot of these killings are due to I think they're jealous. You know? And they have hatred towards you. That's what comes down to it. What it comes down to. They, they just hate, they look at you. I, I, I'm not familiar with the the, the Dean Koontz uh, novel called The Watchers. The Watchers. I think that's what it comes down to. Just like that. But you may want to look it up and see what you think here. But um, anyway, I don't hate blacks. I'm not racist, you know? I, and I know I'm hated for whatever reason, possibly because, you know? But, you know. but really, I, I don't, don't hate blacks. Yeah. By the way, um, I think the Martin Luther King Jr. dream of not judging people by the color of the skin, but by the content of the character he is over, thanks to the Black Lives Matter thing. Um, we're going to have a... I don't think Trump is going to win re-election. Because people are so afraid to be called racist, they're going to put another Marxist in the White House. We're going to have the first black lady now or woman of color because people are afraid to be called racist the Martin Luther King dream is over and America is going to turn into a a third world hellhole a Marxist Muslim entity because color skin does matter not content of character. Simple as that. Yeah. And I think it's because... Oh, well. But 